Right, so we've got the bows uh, set up now, and I just thought we'd go through some uh, some features of this really nice remote control. Um, you'll remember in the previous video I wasn't really happy about this rocking motion, but actually um, the reason, well I assume the reason they've done it is because if you hold it in the thicker part you've really got access to all of the buttons here and you can't really quite get up there but if you slide it down and say it's that uh, thinner part has gone into your finger your index finger and you're holding it there it's uh, really comfortable to use the um, the navigator uh, buttons here so uh, you know, I wonder if that's that cutout has been uh, done for that uh, that reason so you've got two positions to hold it in. It's uh, got to say it's one of the best remotes I've ever used. It's got a very nice, well, I think satisfying is the word. <laughs> it's a little click on each press. And uh, this is a, a sort of rubber finish to the buttons. They've all got that same rubberized feel, but it's very, very nice feel to it when you actually operate the buttons. Um, I'm going to read through some of the instructions from the manual because there's some very, very useful features. Um, <clears throat> I'll just go on through first of all how to set it up with your TV or Sky uh, box. Uh, we've got a Sony. Uh, LCD set years old it's a KDL 40W2000 so it's really knocking on a bit um, but to program the TV you press and hold down the TV button and you'll see all of the buttons then flash just there uh, at this point you can enter the code which for the Sony is 0000, zero, zero, zero. if that doesn't if you then press menu and the menu comes up on the TV, it's programmed. If it doesn't, press the volume up key and press, press the menu button again. In my case that then works because that's the second code and then you would just simply press exit. Uh, so press and hold TV, enter the Sony code which is four zeros, then press the menu key to see if the menu comes up. If it doesn't, press volume plus, test the menu key again. If it doesn't come up, press volume plus and test the menu again. Eventually when the menu comes up then you just press exit and that's stored. Uh, the uh, same with the Sky HD box, press and hold the satellite button. Uh, in the booklet uh, the, uh, there's a number of Sky codes listed as Sky Deutschland and Sky Plus and Sky Media. Uh, the one that worked for the Sky HD box is the Sky Plus uh, code I think which is uh, something like 8583 something like that. It's, it's in the separate bit which stupidly I've left over the other side of the room. Uh, but it's the same thing. You enter the press and hold that, all of them flash, enter the Sky Plus code and then this time you would press the guide button here. If the guide comes up you've got the right code. In my case it didn't so I had to press the volume up button and then uh, test the guide. It came up and then I pressed exit and uh, that is now working uh, correctly. Um, there's a really nice feature where uh, if the Bose uh, is, uh, detects a signal as you turn on the TV or the skybox or whatever you've got connected it will automatically wake up the bows uh, and to enable that you have to press and hold down the standby button for five seconds and uh, the bows itself will bleep three times it's a, a rising tone and uh, if you want to then disable it at any point you would press and hold the standby button for five seconds again but it's great so as soon as you turn on whatever source you want to use and it detects that it will turn the bows uh, on. I thought that was a nice uh, <coughs> nice feature. Um, you can also customize the power button and uh, you can get the Bose Sky HD box and the Sony TV to turn off at the same time 
and to, uh, to do that you need to press the cable and satellite buttons together for 10 seconds and then eventually both buttons will flash three times uh, then after that or as soon as you press that standby button uh, the, the three pieces of equipment will turn off. Um, there can be a syncing issue after you've done that but there are instructions here on how to resync the uh, cable and satellite box uh, etc on the TV. Uh, there is another button here for s switching off individual sources but for me now I'm just going to press the single standby button each time to turn the whole lot on uh, and off. Um, another nice feature is there is a dialog, it's like a, a dialog box here, a little speech bubble, hopefully you'll be able to see it on the camera. So it's for dialog uh, obviously and uh, if you're watching Sky News, whatever it is uh, where there's dialog, you can press that and as far as I can tell it just removes the bass from the sound and then if you go back to a normal channel you can remove, you know, get it out of uh, dialog mode. Um, so I thought that was quite a useful uh, feature. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that really you know, stands out. No, not, uh, not particularly. I have to say, <laughs> well, I've gone through various channels, music channels, films, um, Sky News HD, and it's like we've not been listening to the correct sound for the last 10 years. The, the difference is staggering. Like, uh, you know, there's now bass. There's now bass in the sound or the music or the film, whatever it is, which we, uh, you know, we never had before. I'm, I'm sure 10, 11 year old TV is, uh, you know, is not at the forefront of sound technology, but it's a Sony and it was never, uh, you know, it was never going to be a bad uh, TV with bad sound. But the difference this has made is, uh, yeah, it's just uh, absolutely huge. Um, so very, very pleased. It fits on top of the unit uh, perfectly. We've got the sky box uh, on top of it. Uh, there, there was an issue which I haven't got to the bottom of yet. I but lifted off the TV from the wall mount and checked the connections. And unfortunately, there was only the um, analog left and right phono out. Uh, so we. I fitted the cables, lifted it back onto the, uh, the wall, but unfortunately the Bose does not uh, recognise a signal coming from it. I haven't lifted it off again yet. Um, I'm going to check with some headphones just to see whether there is any sound coming out of the uh, audio out on the TV, because so, it would be nice to determine whether the Bose is faulty or um, or the TV is. If the TV is, it doesn't make a difference. I've uh, actually uh, used the uh, coaxial out on the Sky HD box uh, and that has gone straight into the Bose. Uh, no uh, sync issues at all uh, doing that. I think the, uh, the Sony is pretty, uh, pretty good in processing as quickly as it can do unlike some other cheaper uh, makes and uh, models. So there doesn't appear to be any sync issues so I'm going to be quite happy using the uh, the coaxial out. Um, I could have also used the uh, digital optical out but I've uh, been playing a little bit more guitar these days and uh, one of the things I hadn't had set up for a few years is my Zoom MRS uh, 1044 um, uh, recording studio. Uh, I've got a lot of tracks recorded on that and backing tracks and I want to get you know back into uh, playing along with that, uh, so I'm going to use the optical cable from the MRS 1044 into the Bose 